New York is in. How's it going yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, on the Comostas. Yankees fans, it's unfortunate. But we have a front office that doesn't really care about Yankees fans. They just care about, you know, filling up their pockets, obviously. They just care about ratings. They just care about striking a deal with Amazon. They don't really care about the Yankees fans because if they did, we wouldn't be in a basically an 11 season drought without a world championship and other fans from other teams come on here and say Yankees fans are spoiled um being a Yankees fan you're a Yankees fan because one you know the history two you expect the Yankees to win every season three they're the Yankees because Yankees fans keep the Yankees in check period you're not going to find this Really, in professional sports, a fan base like the Yankees have that they're taking for granted because they know the Yankees fan base is huge. So who cares, right, Yankees front office, that the Yankees don't make the World Series? The Astros, yet again, they're in the American League Championship Series, and the Yankees are not? This is so sad. It's so sad that we have a front office that doesn't want to make trades during the trade deadline and doesn't utilize the players that they didn't want to give up come playoff time. So stupid. And again, going back to game two, the Yankees gave away that uh, game like candy. I guess it was a early Halloween present for the Rays. You want to know why the Yankees haven't won a world title since uh, 2009? Because nobody in the front office is held accountable. It's always patsies like uh, Alex Rodriguez, Joe Girardi, Aaron Boone, etc. Taking the blame for the Yankees front office mistakes. You remember A-Rod. A-Rod was too old. He couldn't hang no more. Uh, let's uh, transform the Yankees. Let's uh, go to a rebuilding phase. Let's give these young guys a chance. And boom, hasn't worked so far. And, you know, I'm running out of patience. Yankees fans are running out of patience because this was the easiest season to win a World Series, 60 games. Everybody had a chance, basically, to make the playoffs. The Astros, the underdog, they've been getting bashed all season long. They make the American League Championship Series. And the Yankees, with no pressure whatsoever, they cannot. They get beat by the... Tampa Bay Rays, who basically have a poor man's budget to operate. I mean, the Yankees are a joke, for real. They, I think they don't realize that Yankees fans put in the most effort of being active, talking about baseball in the first place. I could name a whole bunch of new Yankees uh, influencers on YouTube, Facebook, etc., that just uh, you know put time and effort into this team just so they could get their hearts broken because the front office, the Yankees, are always making excuses. So the next excuse is going to be that they're not going to sign a starting pitcher. They're just going to say that Luis Severino is coming back. So that's basically their free agent signing. That's going to be the talking point. We heard a talking point this trade deadline that the Yankees didn't really want to make a move because they didn't have to. They had all these guys coming back. And then again, like I said, They didn't utilize the guys that teams were asking for come playoff time. So who from the Yankees front office is going to take the blame? Who's going to get fired? Hmm, I highly doubt anybody's going to get fired. But I do know that the Patsies, a few of them, maybe they're going to lose their jobs. But nope, not the nerds, not uh, Brian Cashman, who in my opinion is a good GM. But um, 11 seasons without... Uh, World Series appearance is kind of lame. Specifically when you have real rivals like the Red Sox and the Astros making the World Series all the time. I mean, you know, Yankees fans are getting tired of it. I know I don't have the patience to wait for another season to get to the playoffs again. I'm just tired of the same old nonsense each and every time getting knocked down the ALDS, getting knocked down in the ALCS. I mean... Really, I, I don't have the patience for this. And yes, this is going to be somewhat of a unpopular opinion, but damn, I miss Dylan Batances. That bridge that Batances bring to the Yankees 
it was surely missed. And yes, some Yankees fans are going to say uh, Tommy Kangley got injured, but no. The Yankees fans and the Yankees took Dylan Batances for granted. We saw with Chapman, he had to come in, pitch a whole bunch of innings. He finally gave up a home run. In other situations, you would have had uh, Dylan Batances come in there before and set it up for Chapman. So, I don't know about you guys, I'm just tired of the Yankees front office not taking responsibility. There's always an excuse. And I'm tired of the Yankees getting f because we saw that the umpires, they screwed the Yankees this series. But you'll never hear Brian Cashman or anybody from the front office complain. The Astros, the Yankees, you didn't hear a peep. You just heard a little bit of whining, but that's it. The umpires screwed the Yankees this series. You will never hear a peep. This this front office has no balls. The Yankees obviously got screwed in that aspect, but you're not going to hear it from the Yankees. The Yankees have become a piñata. Um, Hal Steinbrenner is not like his daddy, George. George would have opened his mouth a long-ass time ago. This front office needs some balls. Get some balls. Yankees fans are tired of this nonsense. And honestly, uh, diehard Yankees fans should boycott this franchise until they become a winner again. That's the only way they're going to become a winner when people tune out. Just like the dynasty in the 90s, the Yankees were flying under the radar. Nobody really tuned into them in the early 90s until they started winning again. I think uh, Yankees fans should take out money from the Yankees' pockets because they think you're a joke at this point, period. Look at game two, overthinking things, being paranoid. And then again, with the media acts, the Yankees, what happened there? They throw one of their patsies on the front lines and blame it on them. They never take responsibility. It's ridiculous. Hit them where it hurts, their pockets, and I guarantee you're going to see a change coming to the New York Yankees. So Yankees fans, it's unfortunate. Thank you guys for being here like always. You guys are the best fans in sports, but unfortunately, we have a front office that doesn't appreciate you guys. Because if they did, we'll be winning World Series championships back to back to back to back to back to back to back. They don't appreciate you guys. Like I said, hit them where it hurts. So Yankees fans, like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.